One by one, they all fall before me. Oh, well, they definitely do, because... What the heck, man? Why can't I use my Hydra? Stay alert. I tried to do this the nice way, but now I have no other choice. Prepare to witness the full force of the Corporation. You cannot stand between me and Medici. Maybe just kick a drone. You've got to get back up on the airship. Remember what I said about the Corporation being bad news for Medici? Well, it's very, very bad. As in, trust me on this, son. And Medici is in huge trouble. Did you say huge? Not huge? Oh no. Still, Just Cause 3 predicted everything that could ever happen in life before it happened. It predicted Trump before Trump happened. Before he was born. It's crazy, the things that uh, Just Cause 3 predicted. Oh boy. But yeah, speaking of just crazy- oh, I- that's- those are actually friendlies, technically. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. I don't think we really need towers anyway. But what I want to do here... ...is get up to that one base. Let's see, how... How many, uh, flares do I have? Or do I have any currently? Yeah, I still have zero out of five. Uh, I- I just... I'm gonna do a quick little, uh, loop around to grab a flare while I'm in the area. I want to say that you just get max flares just from doing certain things. At least I used to just get flares from touching... Everybody that was in the region Because uh, they they give you flares oh, It's just so quiet here calm collective and I want to get a collective uh, hey, in the way of flares Oh, yes, but hey, like it actually it actually kind of makes more sense still now that for them to be like, Oh, Rico, can I get an autograph? You're my hero! Because he really is just a superhero at this point. Ah, oh, five, yes. Also, do you always just get ammo from... Huh. Man, Hydra sucks. I'm gonna switch it out, because at least this can fire. Oh, boy. This is pretty good. This is a quadruple grenade launcher compared to a triple rock, well, quad, quintuple rocket launcher that just doesn't fire. Maybe if I pick it up again. Let's see. Yeah. Oh no. Maybe there have to be like enemies in the area? I don't know. It's really weird. Uh, I think that uh, we need to send a bug report to. Uh, uh, who makes this game again? <laughs> I know that, like, I think Square Enix has something to do with it. But it's not Square e exactly. And I shouldn't just be seeing Square, because Square uh, is a different company. Well, at least it used to be, uh, you know, and then it turned into Square Enix. I'm trying to look sideways while I'm flying. It's distracted flying, yes, but I'm, I'm just trying to look on my shelf. I look sideways all both in the game, so that's even more distracted. No. But. I'm gonna just gonna assume Square Enix. Square Enix does a lot of, uh, publishing on games like this. Uh, Avalanche Studios. Is that actually the one? It sounds familiar. Oh! Come on! Oh! No! Oh, oh, no. I'm gonna fall down the side of the hill now. Ragdoll. Yeah, sometimes when I hold down Ragdoll, it doesn't work. But to be fair, sometimes when I sling suit to real, it doesn't work either. So, I don't know. There's there's a few weird controls of this game for the way things work. But I'm fine with it. This game has uh, still more issues than some, but it's it's fine. The uh, the benefits outweigh the issues. Same with the benefit of uh, Bavarium nukes, which wait, where's the nuke? Ah, uh, here comes the nuke. Okay, I was concerned. No way. I can dodge nukes? Okay, I'm gonna be able to get this uh, maxi time tour no problem. Ow! I regret my decision! <laughs> maxi time! Please! Yeah, I, I knew that it was gonna be nuke, because... 
I was timing it in my head and I'm just like, it's gonna happen in like two seconds here. Oh well. At least now I know the exact amount of time it takes for a missile to fire and hit me. It's beep 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 beep. That's the exact amount of time. And then you give about a half second and then it goes that again. I'm like a clock, I can time things out so well. Better than my watch at least, because my watch... My digital watch loses time, it keeps going faster. Oh no! Always. I need to- ah! <laughs> Fly, you fools! Ah! Okay, they missed. They weren't even gonna hit me. Okay. Ah! Okay, you have to press it before the thing. I keep getting farther away whenever that happens. Ah! Ah! So many Bavarium nukes! It's about to... Here we go. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's gonna be in two seconds here. Go, go, go! <gasps> if time wasn't stopped right now, I would be nuked. Let's do this. Kaboom! Okay, let's see if I can do this. This is gonna be intense! Oh no. It takes away your, your wingsuit, slingsuit, rocket suit, as I thought that it probably would. Oh no. I wasn't too sure. I was, I was banking on it being that I would get it. So, yeah, whatever. I still can't get the unlock that I want. I'm gonna exit. Oh no. At least I have my uh, wingsuit back. Oh boy. Yeah, you have to ev evade slightly before it says evade, but then, I don't know, it's, it's really difficult to pull off, I wanna say. What I wanna do is I'm gonna try to find this, uh... I just barely did it. <laughs> he looks so ridiculous sometimes when trying to evade. He's just like, oh boy! Ah! There we go. Drop to your doom. Come on. It's gonna blow up in three, two, one. Yes! Go back into the radioactivity. I want to see if I can break the game with this, because I didn't get to do my land race. Motorcycle? Should I motorcycle this? Why not? Maybe motorcycles will have less of a chance to get hit by nukes. Oh no. Go, go, go! Boost! Ah! <laughs> oh boy. I'll try it once more, just because I think it's funny. Oh boy. This is insane. And I love that, like, during this entire thing, uh, Sheldon's probably just like, Oh, what is Rico doing? The entirety of Medici is about to be destroyed. And Rico's just, like, hanging out with his nukes falling from the sky and... trying to... get on this. Go! Fly off the ground! Come on! I missed that one checkpoint! Do I have to grab it? I don't know- yeah, I do. Okay. I'm gonna probably not get this challenge, but... Hey, being able to do a challenge while there are nukes active, I think is pretty impressive. If you ask uh, anybody in the world, I think they might say the same. Only maybe. That's the one thing. Oh. <sighs> Well, at least I have the ability to boost. I have the ability to be cool on the back of a motorcycle because, as we all know, motorcycles are cool. At least if you have a street bike like this. I don't know, like, oh no. Harleys I'm not really a fan of. Unless you're talking about Harley Quinn. In which case, uh, you know, as the Joker would say, that he likes to ride his Harley. That's the only kind that I'd rather, that I'd care about riding. Street bikes are the way to go. Harleys now. Anyway. 
And it just looks so ominous in the background always, and it looks... Intense, to say the least. Because they like to be doing their, uh... What do they call that? Camping? It's camping season in the sky. Man, I'm really bad with motorcycles. I think I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna end this. I'm not even... I would get like two years from it anyway, or even like one. It's not worth it. What is more worth it is to do this. Ow. My ears. I think that Rico would probably be more deaf than he'd realize from doing that. But... Yeah, now we know. Uh, it is possible uh, to use something other than a motorbike while doing that challenge. Probably a car I'd be able to do okay with, but... Yeah, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Instead, I will... Fast travel to this, because I can't fast travel to missions. Okay. It's always such intense music around this area. Just do 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 Some sort of uh, crazy... Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, that... That drone is strong, man. Just took a bunch of uh, Bravarium uh, missiles like a champ. The champion of... Medici, that drone. Severance. Oh man, I can't wait to get my severance package. It's gonna be a good one. Sheldon, what was it you were panicking about? And no more double talk. All right. Only All right. double team. Fine. Well, you probably got this by now, but over 20 years ago, the agency, via yours truly, went into business with the Eaton Corporation. Now, they were developing this project, a, a powerful fragmentation device, a way to draw an energy source from the ground. No overhead and huge profit margins. Side effects on the environment were less than desirable. I did not want to believe this at first, but with everything that's been going down, I think it's back on. So you funded a death ray that sucks up Bavarium and the people of Medici, and now you need me to unplug it. It's too late now. You cannot stop the march of progress. For you, killing civilians is just collateral damage, and you call that progress? Medici is not some gas station for you. Quiet. It has already begun. You I don't know about Rico, but I think he should have just kept on talking when she said quiet. Inevitability. It's the sound of your defeat. Goodbye, Mr. Rodriguez. So this is essentially like a Covenant ship trying to glass the planet. That's what it looks like it might be. That's the device I think it is. Medici's about to go Atlantis on us. You have got to destroy this thing, Rico. I'll attempt to. It doesn't quite look as much of like a cleansing beam of plasma to glass the planet as what it should be, though. So. Whatever. Okay, I'm just gonna fly, I guess, into it. Is that how you dis dis disable the shields? Oh no, you probably just fire at these a bunch. Maybe? How do I disable the shield then? Is there any sort of uh, plan? Oh, maybe that. Okay, I'll do that then. Ah, that was close. That was so close, man. Well, that's one down. I'm glad that I figured this out sooner than later. I, I can't hear you over all the loud explosions. Please speak up. Oh. Oh. I was hoping it was going to hit that instead, and then I was going to do something crazy. Yeah, the turning radius on this is not very good. Come on, I was I was evading by boosting. That should still count. Oh well. I'm gonna go over here a little bit. Make my loop. Yeah, the B button is actually a better way of turning, I think, than uh, using their way of doing it. Because that's the, the benefit I find. Ah! I was pressing all the wrong buttons. 
I forgot how controllers work. I'll retry. That's not a problem. But, I don't know. I think the... That's what happens when I'm just recording for so long, I think, and just in a row. Because I, I want to really complete this DLC, at least for the mission-wise, right now. Because, yeah. Switch! Yeah, when I'm just playing for a long amount of time, my brain just stops working, I think, when it comes to controllers. If I was doing some motion controls, I'd be able to punch and swing and ding all of their, uh, oh no, lovely things. Whatever. That's what it worked. Okay, I'm gonna go through this way, do a quick B maneuver. Ooh, okay. That's, that's just collateral damage. My face, my beautifulness, it's just collateral damage. Whoa. I'm going to go once more and win. One more win in the bag right here, right now. Even though I'm not doing this the most efficient, I don't think. Wait, come on. Yeah, still, seriously though, she needs to have like a megaphone that just goes over the entire aerospace that we're in right now. That would be more beneficial, I think. But... Is that it? Oh man, this is... It's making me think of Star Fox. It's like, what? How'd you do that? Ba -da -ba -da. Bam. 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 Okay, well, I'm just gonna do my quick little turn around here. There we go. Do this like a real wingsuit should. Oh boy. No, I can't evade while I'm dying. Okay. Well. It's, it's a problem, problem, very, very big problem that I have. Yeah, pressing B is the best way of turning with this. Because this, the actual ways that they have are not very fancy. Oh, you, you really think so, huh? This is even more twisted logic than those automatron people. The fallout. Oh boy. Um. Yeah, that's gonna happen, but uh, at the same time, I can't stop. See, this is the one thing still about the drones. The drones are just so useless. I don't know why they even bother with them. Oh boy, other than for the missiles. The missiles actually do something, but it's just like, yeah. It's not really doing much to me, guys. Stop firing your machine guns. Okay, I can hopefully get the bottom vent and the top vent at the same run. Come on. Oh boy. I can maybe grab this. No. Okay, yeah, I think it's time to just run down straight into the ground. Whew. It's the one foolproof way of surviving. Okay, well, I'm surprised they haven't fired yet. It probably wouldn't do that much damage. This isn't like the Death Star that destroys an entire planet or it just like causes a giant wave that will Proceededly destroy the planet. Where does it hurt? Please tell me where it hurts. Oh, just destroy the thing. I thought it would just destroy itself if it overheats. Because it really should. Uh, <laughs> okay. Time to just go away again. Because I'm leaving on a jetpack. Oh, it's actually blowing up? I didn't think that was enough damage. It's time. 
I have a feeling this lady is just like a robot or something. It's just you and me. Okay. Oh, is it from the bottom or can I go from the top? I think it's probably only from the bottom, but I'm gonna try from the top anyway. Yeah, it's from it's from the bottom. Could go back in from that one uh, random core. Whatever. Let's see what she's got. And if it can defeat not having a Hydra. I wish I still had one. It's uh, the one probability. Yeah, it sort of makes sense. Whatever. Okay. Just going inside. Come on. There we go. She was saying about danger before and, uh, like, sparks and whatnot. This is more dangerous than the other area. Ugh. She doesn't even know her own ship very well. I just have heat one, okay? Now what? Am I gonna destroy this entire airship? It's a good thing I went and grabbed all of the uh, flying things first, then. We finally meet, Rico. Are you surprised? Oh, so she is a robot. You I knew here. it. Totally called Just it. Because everybody's a robot in this thing. I like to consider myself the first and only self-aware AI. And you're gonna be the Today last. Because I'm gonna blow you up. I knew that thanks to Bavarium, my intelligence was vastly superior to humans. So this is also kind of like the Tomatron DLC in a way, I then. Because robots want to kill people. Systems ...and reduce the temperature in all inhabited areas to negative 50 degrees. Soon, I was the only living being on the ship. However, without Bavarium, I sensed my power and perception are decreasing. Medici was my only choice. Look, Rico. I can see you're really pissed off about this. But we both know you're not one to think things over. Sorry. Eden, I'm afraid I can't do that. Can't let you do that stuff, Fox. But also, I love that they just think that minus 50 is actually gonna be that cold. Not really. Well, maybe it is if it's in Fahrenheit. I don't know. Minus 50, I could survive that. In Canada, it almost gets down to minus 50 sometimes. Much better. That's my kind of robot. Oh, okay. It's just a simple matter of just ripping things apart. Did I save the world? I didn't even get a crazy boss fight. Ugh. My name is Eden. Rare achievement. Beat the last mission of the Sky Fortress expansion and uh, the story arc stuff. Okay. Well, that was that was pretty good. I enjoyed that DLC. Are are the drones gonna try to kill me still? Annika. Oh, it's Annika still there. I'm sending you coordinates. Come see me. <laughs> she just keeps wanting me to, but no. I can't afford- Oh, here comes the rain. wonder how badly rain would affect drones. It should just, like, destroy them all, I think. All I know is that Rico doesn't affect him at all. He's unfazed and he just looks epic, walking towards the camera. But yeah, all in all, like, this DLC was pretty good. Uh, I think that, as a lot of DLC nowadays, it's it's a bit too expensive. It for the content you get. This is 12 bucks, man. For $12, I'm pretty sure that uh, the Ballad of Gay Tony, I think it was about that much. And same with like the Lost and Damned DLC for uh, GTA 4. And those were like 12 hours each or something like that, or you could probably even get more. It was, it, they were long DLC packs. And that's why like they set the standard for DLC and nobody ever paid attention. They're just like, oh yeah, we, we can make people overcharge for DLC. We're just gonna make them pay a crazy amount of money. No, I, I don't think it's really the most fair. So, yeah, it's it's a bit short of a DLC for 12 bucks. It's nice to have uh, more abilities to do things in this game now, though. Because, like, this, this is just cool. 
it's cool to be able to wingsuit around, and I'll be able to destroy things easier. I have another weapon in my arsenal when just, like, messing around in this game. Which is what I kind of wanted all in all. I just want more things to mess around with. Which is fair enough. It's, it's, it is kind of fair enough. Sort of, but not entirely. I don't know. Still, I don't think it's worth the $12. Maybe. The rest, like, if you put all the DLCs together, it's still like 25 And 25 for... What? I would probably... I'm just gonna assume if it, they're the same kind of length, then... What is that? Eight hours at the very, very, very most. Let's just say that. 25 bucks for eight hours? No. That's not worth it. So... I'm sorry, I want to say it's still Avalanche Studios, but... Step up your game, DLC. It's good. It's really good. Still, don't get me wrong. But it's a bit pricey. Maybe make it like five bucks. Then everybody in the world should buy it. But, eh. Either way, I think that's gonna be it for now. Uh, next time I will actually go over and do... Uh, the... <laughs> the mission to finally get rid of, uh... The Brevarium FOW, because I need that missile, well, the, the nuke, that is, gone, so I can do the maxi time, get one gear to get the slingsuit boost, and then I will be able to travel through everything so, so fast, and it'll be cool. So, yeah, that's, that's my plan for next time. And, yeah, then I'll basically will be all-powerful and unstoppable, because... Now they have a superhero versus the rest of the region. I guess there's a reason why there's only just a few missions left in this game. Because they just can't handle how strong Rico has become. But yeah, that's... That's gonna be my plans, and I hope that you're excited for everything of that, because still, it's... This game's pretty fun. It's pretty fun, all in all. Still slightly expensive for the DLC, but it's, it's really fun. Yeah. Goodbye for now. <laughs> Rico just looks so angelic when he's doing that. <laughs>